All right, folks. Uh, today we're gonna look at a projectiles question. And the projectile question usually, uh, probably nine out of ten times, we're looking for a time. So we're gonna we're gonna approach from that section. But don't forget what we learned in grade eleven. We're gonna write down what information we have, and then uh, pick some formulas that work, and then go from there and see if we can answer the question. But again, we're gonna go through and highlight some numbers, just like to highlight them. So Tony's using a t-shirt launcher to shoot t-shirts in the crowd at a hockey game. Tony's initially shooting at uh, eight at four meters. If the t-shirt is fired at 30 meters per second at an angle of 50 degrees, determine how long it would take to land in a section where the height is 12 meters. How far away is the lucky recipient? It, how far away the lucky recipient is horizontally from Tony? So when I did the numbers out, I think maybe this is actually a little bit bigger than uh, hockey rink, but that's all right. Let's just take on. Let's tackle it anyway. So uh, this is going to be Tony. Let's uh, let's uh, let's highlight what we have. So Tony's initially shooting at four meters. So that's the starting height. Uh, it started at 30 meters at an angle 50. So anytime you get an angle, you have to break it in X and Y. Uh, how long would it take to land in a section where the height is 12 meters? So that's the final height, and we want to know how far away it is. All right, and we need to know how long it takes. So we need the time. How long would it take? All right, so let's write down what we have. We know that we start at a height of four meters, and the initial velocity is 30 meters per second at 50 degrees and we know uh, the final height 12 meters and we're looking for the time and we know anything that's moving uh, in the vertical direction has an acceleration that is equal to gravity which is negative 9.8 meters per second squared and the question is how long is it in the air so here's here's where it starts gets launched at an angle 50 and travels up and lands in the bleacher somewhere we want to know how long it takes and we want to know how far it goes in the x direction Let's figure that out so uh, looking at your formulas you got your formula page there you can recall that almost every time we try to find this there's a few exceptions but uh, we're looking for time and this formula has time in it and this is all the information we have so y equals y naught plus v y naught t plus one half a t squared and the v y naught you'll remember v y naught is equal to the initial velocity times the sine of the angle and that changes through the whole path the velocity at any time changes it goes up it hits its maximum point stops and then comes back down but only in the y direction not in the x direction the very maximum height here all of the velocity is forward all the acceleration is downward if you might remember that at the very maximum height they're perpendicular and then the velocity picks back up again you get a velocity downward but that x velocity remember always stays constant through the whole travel so let's put some numbers in and see what we have i'm going to substitute this into the equation instead of doing it separately so uh, my final height is 12 my initial height is 4 and i've got my initial velocity so that's going to be uh, v naught sine theta plus one half of negative 9.8 t squared and t is what we're looking for and i put my t right there so i'll put that in so i know with these uh let's just go one more line 12 equals 4 plus the initial velocity which is 30 and the angle is 50 degrees times t minus 4.9 t squared and you've done enough grade 11 math and enough questions here you should recognize I got a t and a t squared, and then the number over here. I'm going to have to use a quadratic solver, so I need to switch this into a quadratic form. So I'm going to bring the 12 over. That's going to give me negative 8 plus. So this number here is going to give us uh, 22.98 times t minus 4.9 t squared. So at this point, I've got it in a, in a general form, or standard form, I guess, as you call it sometimes. So this is my A value. This is my B. This is my C. Remember, the A always goes with the squared part. So I use some kind of solver, whether it's a solver on your phone or the graphic calculator or the quadrat quadratic formula. That's always handy. Use solver, and then I found that my times were 0 0.38, and I always put them both down and 4.31 0.38 is a value 
but it would be the time right here when the uh, t-shirt's on its way up, not when it lands. So there's two times that have a height of 12, that one and that one. So this is the one we're looking for. So our time in the air, 4.31 seconds. Part B asks how far it went. Well, that's just the range, x equals x naught plus bxt. Started at 0, we'll assume it's 0, because we want to know how far it went. So x is sim equal to, uh, remember that x is v naught cos theta, but doesn't change, so it's the same all the way along, times t. So that is going to be uh, 30 cos 50 times the 4.31. And if I've done my work correct, I should get an answer of 83.11 meters. So the lucky recipient is about 83 meters away. I'm not exactly sure how big a hockey rink is, but that might be a little bigger than a hockey rink. It might have been better to use a football game. Football stadiums are a lot bigger. Anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, you should, of course, write a statement, but I don't have the. I don't want to take the time to write a statement here. Um, just type it out because you guys can read the, get the answers on this. So the time of the air, 4.31 seconds, and I should put a box around that, so you know, and it travels 83.11 meters away. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, as always, uh, send me an email or uh, stop in and see me. Thanks.